Hi everyone, it's the season for retro gaming. And we found our old Nintendo Wii. Let's dust it off and play some games. So after we plugged our old Nintendo Wii into our 10 year old Samsung LED TV, we got this ugly black and white grainy looking picture. It looks awful. So what can we do to fix this? Well, we have a couple of options. The very first thing to do is to make sure the component video and audio are plugged into the correct ports on the back of the TV. And ours are plugged in correctly. Now go back to your remote and use the input or source button to find AV. Do not use component. It will not work. This is where most mistakes are made. Here's the AV. And the picture is no longer in black and white. It's full color. But what if this didn't work for you? What other option do you have? The only other option you have is to buy a Wii to HDMI converter. And this converter will cost you about $10. Let's open the box and see what's inside. So it looks like you get a warranty card. And here is the HDMI converter. Not only does it come with an HDMI connection, it also has an audio out connection for an external audio. This converter connects to the video port on the back of the Nintendo Wii. Then connect an HDMI cable to the converter and the other end to the TV. This converter does stick out a little bit, so if you have this on a shelf somewhere, it may get in the way. Okay, now it's installed. Let's take a look at the picture. Wow, looks good. It's vibrant. Has lots of color. And let's go ahead and test it out on a few games. A couple of things to point out is this HDMI Convert does not scale the video to 1080 HD. This is how the HDMI Converter works. After you plug in the HDMI Converter to the back of the Wii, the Converter taps into the component video output of the AV port, which is the highest quality the Wii outputs. The device performs an analog to digital conversion and outputs that digital signal via HDMI, which is 720 by 480 at 60 Hz. This device does nothing to upscale or improve the image quality. It simply converts 480p analog to 480p digital. And this is ideal, because upscaling the image would degrade the picture quality. After setting up the device, make sure to change the aspect ratio to widescreen settings. 16.9. Just go to video settings in your Wii. And you'll want to set your surround sound settings to surround Dolby Pro Logic 2. You want to adjust your television to stretch the newly configured widescreen video across the screen. And lastly, if you're using a surround sound system, engage Dolby Pro Logic 2 decoding for surround sound effect in supported games. So one more thought. This device works well, but there are some issues. First, the device adds input latency or lag, but it's very minor. Second, this device adds dancing diagonal interference into the video signal. It's most visible on bold solid colors and gradients, especially red. But some TVs will completely mask the interference. Our TV is old, so it does not. In terms of convenience and ease of use, this device is pretty cool. Having the video and audio set up working on HDMI is much more convenient. However, the video quality is not as good as it could be. And as far as durability goes, that is yet to be seen. Well guys, I want to thank you for watching. If you like this video, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love it, hit subscribe. It's free.